So Isaac here again, and we'll continue to unpack our summer theme of image. I'm so sad that we can't be together, but I felt that we put together was really important, and I wanted to share that with you. And so we started just on Wednesday, talking about our theme for the summer, which was image. We walked through what would have been Monday's talk and verse of Monday. So let me just quickly recap that in case you missed it. Our theme for the summer of 2020 would have been image, based on Colossians 3.10, which says this, put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge and the image of this community. And, and we wanted you to wrap your head around that all summer long. And so if you missed uh, Monday's video, check that out. Our, our verse for Monday, uh, talking about the great of God and who God is. And I just understand that the important piece of that creator element of this world, uh, our, theme, our verse for Monday would have been uh, Psalm 145 for me, which said, Great is the Lord, He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure his goodness. So our hope for Monday was just to really dive into the characteristics and the tricks and the attributes of who God is. Because our hearts are made of this image, which we'll talk about today, we need to first understand who God is, who His creator is, who we're trying to reflect in their nature. So today, Tuesday, uh, you're watching on a Friday or whenever you're watching online, but what would have been a Tuesday all summer long, we would have had a specific key verse from Genesis 126. And there's lots of great translations. I chose the message translation this because I think it speaks uh, directly to what I wanted kids to get from this, uh, from this verse. And it's, it's Genesis 126. It says this. It says, God spoke. Let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature so that they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, the earth itself. And how fun to be at Timberly to have the opportunity to see fish and birds and cattle and livestock and the opportunity to experience the beauty of the earth itself. We're going to have a fun day to sort of uh, walk through this verse on each of our different elements, either at the science center like I am now, or at France, or sound on the lake, seeing the beauty of God's creation. This is a great reminder that, that yes, we're made in God's image, but we're into responsibility. So that's what I wanted to get today, is just uh, our hope for Tuesday would have been that, that people understand a few important things. The first is that if God is amazing and wonderful and splendid and compassionate and holy and majestic and loving and merciful, if those are the things that describe God, those are the same things that describe us. We should be loving and compassionate and full of grace and mercy. We should, yes, at times be holy and majestic. We should be set apart for God's purpose. That's what God wanted us to be like when He made us from the very beginning. You and I were made on purpose. We were created to reflect the image of God. How amazing is that? Please know deep down that God chose you, made you just the way you are because He has a purpose and a plan for you in your life. See, part of that purpose is this immense responsibility that God gives us. It's not just this cool thing we get to reflect God, but, but because we reflect God, God entrusted us with taking care of creation. We were tasked with taking care of the birds and the fish, the livestock, and yes, the earth itself. Part of reflecting God's nature is, is care for His creation. We're supposed to care for one another. We're supposed to be compassionate and graceful and merciful to those around us. We should show love, deep, abiding love to those around us. The world can certainly use more of that today, and that's our responsibility as followers of Christ. We reflect this image, which represents well in the world as a responsibility. And now I was excited to spend all of Tuesday, just uh, all throughout camp, talking about the amazing things, the amazing way we get to see responsible God's and trust us. So my challenge for you today is simply this: May you know that God loves you that God made you specifically with a purpose in mind. He wants you to reflect His nature. He wants you to reflect His character. He wants you to be full of love and joy and peace and hope. He wants you to be full of mercy and compassion. He wants you to be fully set apart. He wants you to take those characteristics, those attributes, reflecting His image. He wants you to do something incredibly important. He wants you to take care of the earth. Take care of your fellow human beings. Take care of the animals. It's your responsibility in this. Follows of Christ in this. God loves you. God values you. God trusts you with incredible responsibility. And we'll talk more about our next week about how we do that, how we transform our minds to, to be more and more like Christ, more and more like the God who created us. We'll get to that, but, but no, there is this responsibility. It's, it's exciting, it's wonderful. We get to have all these amazing characteristics that God has and He trusts us with, but we also have to live up to those ideas. We're representing well in this world. And that would have been our heart, our challenge for Tuesday. May you do that today. 
in everything. God bless.